testing my poem. I always like to test poems out here as well. Um, so, yeah, that's a new one. Okay, so, my great pleasure to introduce you, well, probably doesn't need a lot of introduction, introduce you again to Candice. Candice James, Howard Laureate, I'm going to say this word wrong, I always struggle with this, Amrita, Amrita. No, you go, M, Air, Ita. And uh, Rita. And Rita. Emer sounds, Ita. sounds basically America. You know, just think of America. America. Yeah, think of Emeritus. Emeritus, oh yeah. New Westminster, BC. He's author of 13 books, a visual artist, musician, singer, songwriter, and workshop facilitator. She is past president of BC Federation of Writers, founder of Royal City Literary Art Society, founder of Poetic Justice, founder of Poetry in the Park, and director of the Festival of the Book Society, Victoria, BC. Her awards include the Bernie Leg. Artist Cultural Award and Pandora's Collective Citizenship Award. Please welcome Candice. Thank you, Don. So short. I'm never short on words. Let's get it set up. I'm going to read some new poems today. I haven't read them before, and I think it'll be kind of nice to test them, just like Alan says, on the audience. So the first one's called Never Ending Dark. I was long sleeping inside a never-ending dark, in a petrified forest of loneliness. A shadow walking down a street of long shadows that led me to your location in time. You were an artist chisel in hand. You chipped away at my stony disguise and freed me from this equine loneliness. I emerged, scarred by the callous hands of time, and wounded by the razored edge of a million and one lost nights. There should have been a naked sadness engraved deep in my soul, but there wasn't. I opened my eyes and saw you standing there with a broken chisel in your hand, a broken heart in your chest, and stars in your eyes. The never-ending dark peeled off my world as the stars in your eyes led me into the light. God wears a mask when he travels by day. 